Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this uh, intense, intense day uh, is now coming uh, uh, to a close, and uh, we are moving. We are moving to our conclusion with uh, our experts, uh, Marco De Polo, Mar no, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Mara Bernardini and uh, uh, Francesco Violante. Uh, this uh, uh, were uh, going to produce shared and uh, multi-voiced conclusions. And uh, before I pass the word uh, over to them, I, I would like to share the seven pillars of mental health strategies and uh, as you can see, uh, workplace uh, attention remains uh, one of the uh, main priorities, uh, although uh, H-Work pro project was uh, written four years ago. Uh, therefore, uh, the H-Work uh, learnings uh, are very important for the futures of the uh, mental health uh, promotion. Uh, I would like uh, uh, to share uh, uh, your view uh, uh, on this uh, subject uh, by filling out a mentimeter. Uh, uh, the question is, uh, what are eight words uh, key learnings? Uh, this morning uh, we discussed uh, uh, about this. And uh, uh, we can uh, uh, frame the QR code and the type uh, three words uh, uh, that, in your opinion, represents uh, the main key learnings, uh, uh, H-Work key learnings. Uh, if uh, you have a problem with the uh, QR code, uh, you can uh, type uh, www.menti.com and enter code 85104628. But uh, QR, QR code is uh, easier. Okay. Thank you very much, Julia. Okay. I are, we are waiting uh, other answer. We can uh, frame uh, QR code. As you can uh, see, uh, there is a, a rich, uh, very rich uh, work cloud, and uh, I'll ask uh, our experts uh, if uh, they would like to comment uh, our uh, uh, work cloud or uh, your answer or uh, add other uh, learnings. Uh, let's start to Marco De Paolo. Thank you very much for being here invited today. What about these results? 
I can see in the center learning, challenge, and intervention. I think they, these three words can summarize very well the most important lesson I think we can get back home from this three. Why? Because learning means never stop considering the interplay between our models our conceptual models, the evidence, what evidence say, what suggests evidence about changing, modifying our models, and modifying models, we can learn how to collect better evidences. Challenge, the second one, because this is one of the most important challenges, I think. I'm a bit tired, personally, um, operating in this sector, uh, health, workplace, and safety, of some uh, watchword approach. Um, everybody think, uh, tells about uh, mental health, uh, well-being, and so on. We need to challenge against reality. We need to contextualize. Let me remember a great intervention from Robert Rowe, already president of the European Federation of Psychological Association and the European Association of Work and Organizational Psychology. In 2009, he opened the IAWOP Congress in Santiago de Compostela with a wonderful intervention entitled Contextualize, Contextualize, Contextualize. This is really the mandate for professional in every field, but in our field maybe, taking into account the challenge to make useful to specific and concrete and real instances, our general models. Intervention plus challenge. I would interpret this way, these three bigger words they are in the center of the... Thank you very much, Marco. Uh, we continue with uh, Mara Bernardini. She will speak in Italian language, but it's uh, here with us che veramente abbiamo accettato con grande piacere. Noi stiamo lavorando su questi temi. Dici? <ride> Noi stiamo lavorando con le Giorgia Romagna su questi temi e la uh, parola, la keyword che mi piace ricordare in questo momento è participation. Partecipazione, partecipazione a tutti i vari
lavoro con le associazioni territoriali e le associazioni sindacali, tutti gli ambienti che si occupano di salute e sicurezza nei luoghi di lavoro. So they're really, want, uh, they're really trying to spread that money to bring in participation at different levels of organizations within the region. Um, and the um, uh, representative um, of uh, this region has just drawn a, a document. Sorry, can you repeat the last question, the last sentence? Um, because I, I forgot yeah, about yeah. occupational health. E eh, partecipazione a tutti i livelli, quindi a livello istituzionale, ma anche a livello aziendale, nella costruzione, nella costruzione insieme di momenti formativi per i lavoratori, di momenti di condivisione proprio sui temi, in particolare anche sui rischi psicosociali. Sicuramente i rischi psicosociali hanno bisogno all'interno di qualsiasi azienda pubblica e privata di tanta condivisione e partecipazione. Um, yeah, so uh, they've been trying to um, implement um, training uh, as well as meetings to bring together workers uh, from different uh, sectors so that they can share their own ideas um, so they can underline and outline um, the most uh, relevant and most recurrent uh, risk assessments. Okay, thank you, Mara. Uh, let's go with uh, Francesco Violante. Uh, thank you very much, first of all, for inviting me here. And uh, I would only uh, add uh, some words to what uh, um, Marco has uh, already told. Uh, to me, uh, what I've heard uh, today about h work project is very, very important. First of all, because of the picture that we have of occupational health problems, uh, at least in Europe and in uh, richer countries, which is uh, a field dominated by musculoskeletal disease and uh, psychosocial problems, which is uh, not completely bad news, uh, just because we focus on these problems now, because more severe diseases with fatal outcome are uh, luckily uh, have been uh, almost uh, completely eliminated. So this is uh, certainly a problem that we will have to deal with uh, for many, many years uh, in the future. So it's very important what I have heard today uh, of uh, giving a picture, a framework for intervention, and uh, especially tools for intervention, which is, uh, I would say, at the heart of this uh, uh, picture that we see, because intervention is challenging, of course. And I would like only to add uh, just a, um, a, I would say, something from the medical field. Intervention is important. Uh, is at least as important as understanding why uh, a problem uh, is here, what are causes, uh, whatever uh, we can do to reduce uh, the problems and things like that. But understanding is only a part of the problem. For example, as a doctor, we usually treat patients for disease that we don't understand fully how they come from. But we uh, know that it's very, very important to make people stay better, to have a healthier population, which in my perspective, the perspective of an occupational physician, is a healthy working population. Also because we know that work is intrinsically uh, linked with the life experience of people. We know, for example, that people who is able to work late in the life will have an advantage in life expectancy uh, against people who is not able to work late in the life. So this is uh, very, very important. And uh, I, I would like to uh, thank all the people who has worked in uh, this project for providing us such very important tools. Thanks. Thank you very much, Francesco. Uh, to conclude, uh, one Mm, last uh, question, uh, reflection for our experts. 
uh, H work uh, targets uh, were uh, public organization and uh, small and medium uh, size enterprises. Uh, in your opinion, uh, do these uh, two contexts uh, still need uh, work uh, further work and why? Uh, still talking uh, about uh, on mental health promotion. Uh, let's start to Marco De Polo. Yes, I spend the most important and large part of my scientific and professional life in a public organization. So I've been delighted to see a lot of useful information, a lot of efforts made by H Work project because I feel that the moment has come in many public organizations to take into account not only uh, on paper, because we always find on paper the well being of employees, mainly in uh, public organizations. Now we have the tools, we have some specific tools to implement this in public organization, mainly because it seems cynical. Eh? I'm aware of it, but they are more sensible, they are often more sensible to reputational side of this kind of intervention. And this is an entry door, simply an entry door, but I think that the time has come. I don't want to generalize because public organization is a stupid category, but in many public organizations that I know, the moment is come to introduce this kind of approach in an experimental, concrete, and contextualized, contextualized, contextualized way. Thank you. Mara? Dunque, ehm, la regione ha questa come dire, mission di eh, emanare linee di indirizzo per l'attività dei servizi delle aziende sanitarie. So, uh, the, the region has this goal to um, convey and disseminate guidelines for um, health uh, organizations uh, regionwide. In questo momento stiamo gestendo il piano regionale della prevenzione 2021-2025 su indicazione del Ministero della Salute e la prevenzione delle patologie muscoloscheletriche e dello stress come molto relato sono due degli argomenti eh, appunto di progetti che noi stiamo conducendo eh, come assistenza alle aziende sul territorio. Um, so uh, in the region they have uh, recently They've been working on this uh, regional plan for prevention where they have been implementing, implementing um, stress related and interventions. In particular, per quanto riguarda lo stress e il correlato, stiamo lavorando all'interno delle strutture per anziani. E eh, in passato abbiamo lavorato nelle strutture per infanzia, laddove sappiamo da eh, articoli giornalistici spesso avvengono aggressioni eh, sia eh, nei confronti dei soggetti più deboli, ma anche nei confronti degli operatori sanitari che assistono i soggetti, qualora siano residenze per anziani, ma anche tra operatori stessi. Um, so, as in regards of the work-related, um, um, stress-related interventions, they mostly work with rest homes um, as well as child care facilities um, in the region where um, cases of harassment are very frequent, not uh, between um, the um, people that are, have been um, 
cared and looked after, but also between um, employees in the same uh, sort of organization, so between nurses, for example. Altro progetto importante è il supporto allo stress degli operatori sanitari. Eh, quindi gli operatori sanitari hanno passato tre anni a contatto con il Covid, hanno turni molto pesanti e quindi in collaborazione tra il medico competente dell'azienda sanitaria e i psicologi dell'azienda sanitaria stiamo cercando di eh, lavorare per il benessere degli operatori sanitari. And secondly, there have been um, implementing intervention to support health staff um, in health organizations, um, especially because after COVID and during COVID as well, the workload has increased and um, the shifts have got a lot longer. Um, and therefore they are collaborating with uh, work psychologists inside on site. Thank you, Francesco. Ah, thanks. So just let me add a few words about uh, small companies. Uh, small companies should be in every country the focus of occupational health intervention. That's uh, because of many reasons. For example, when you compare the rate of injuries in small companies and the rate of injuries in a medium and large company, you always see that in small companies this rate is higher. And we see also a greater problem in small companies because they are possibly even because of the size, they usually lack the organization to address properly occupational health problems as this can be done in larger companies. And so uh, we see a concentration of risks of any type. I mean, physical, chemical, biological, but also uh, biomechanical and psychosocial in small companies, much more than in uh, larger companies. And this is particularly important also, for example, in a country like Italy. Uh, Italy uh, um, in Italy, uh, half of the workforce in the private sector works for a company which have 10 or less employees. So you can imagine that we have uh, a few millions of uh, uh, workers who every day uh, have this type of experience when uh, they have to deal with the, uh, traditional risk, chemical, uh, physical, and so on, and also with new risk, for example, uh, as we have uh, learned today about psychosocial problems, which can be very difficult to, to tackle in, in uh, such a small organization. So this calls, for example, uh, for an intervention which should be supported by the public system because it is possible that this very small company lack even the uh, resources to properly address this type of problem. Thank you. Uh, our time is over. Uh, uh, there uh, would uh, still uh, be so many things uh, to share and discuss, uh, but uh, we hope uh, there will be other projects uh, that uh, we we'll see Unibo team uh, and uh, other HR partners uh, involved together uh, on uh, this topic. Interesting topic uh, with uh, a lot and lots of space uh, of our discipline, uh, research and uh, interventions. Uh, but uh, last but not least, uh, I would like to thank uh, our coordinators, uh, Luca Pietrantoni and uh, co-coordinator Marco De Angelis. <laughs> Together, uh, we, uh, we uh, thank uh, all Unibo team, uh, Marco, Greta, Davide, Aurora, Lucia, Alessandra, Audrey, Giulia, Rita, Maria Adele, Edoardo e Federico, for your effort, time, commitment, 
uh, passion and, and passions and passions, <laughs> yeah. within uh, H-Work project. Come here, come here.